Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Lisa's Eats. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really quick and fast guacamole. It's something that's really great to have at any party. Highly recommend. Um, and this is just a very basic uh, guacamole. Of course, you can add anything you want to this, but this is mine. So let's get started. So these are the very simple ingredients you're going to need. Two avocados that I've chopped up roughly, half a ripe tomato, and what I did just to show you, I've taken out the pulp and the seeds and I've just chopped up the fleshy part. So I've just got half of that. Again, that's completely optional. You could exchange this for some jalapenos if you like a bit more heat. That's actually really nice as well. Three large spring onions, quartered and chopped finely. You can also use regular onion or shallot for this as well. It's very interchangeable and easy. One to two tablespoons of lemon juice, depending on how tart you like your guacamole. You can also substitute this for lime juice. And one tablespoon of coriander. You can put two if you really like coriander. I'm one of those people that's on the fence about it, so I'm just putting one. And then salt and pepper to taste. I'm just taking a sharp knife and slowly slice into the avocado until you feel the hard pit in the middle. Then with a circular motion, drag the knife around the pit and then separate the two halves. Then with your knife, stab the pit and remove it and then pop the avocado out from the skin and chop it into large chunks. Alrighty, so what you need now is a fork and a bowl, and we're gonna mix it all in, easy. Now, I'm just using a fork, and I'm going to leave my uh, avocado relatively chunky still, so I'm only lightly going to mix this before I add the other stuff. If you like completely smooth guacamole, then just go ahead and mix it as much as you like. This is honestly just up to personal preference on how you like your guacamole. There we go. Then we're going to add our spring onion and mix around. Then tomato, coriander, and lemon juice. And then to top it off, salt and pepper. And then it's done. Now the thing I like about guacamole is it's one of those things that actually simple is best when it comes to it because it's used with a lot of other flavors. Of course, you can add other things like uh, sour cream and all that to make it more creamy. This is just a very fresh guacamole. Okay guys, that's how you make my really quick and fresh guacamole. Of course, there are so many variations that you can do of this. This is my personal favorite, and I recommend you give it a crack. It's really quick and easy, and you can make it if you've got a party coming up. But yeah, I say, let's eat. Now, I know you haven't had much guacamole because you're not the biggest fan of avocado. Mm -hmm. but I just want you to try a little bit. Okay. Just like, because you'll notice the freshness. Yeah. Okay, give it a red hot crack. Red hot crack, alright. I know you pretty decent. I know you don't like it, so that's fine. It's just I like it because you really taste oh you don't like lemon either. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, so you can really okay. It's ignore, nice and fresh. Ignore Flavia. It's got really lovely fresh citrusiness and it just brings out the flavour of the avocado even more. You don't have to eat anymore, it's fine. Thank you for trying it's it. It's good for a guacamole, definitely. All right. like, if you like guacamole, you'll love that. Well, I quite like it. So I'm quite happy to eat all of it. Hey, hey guys, thanks, thanks for, for watching this video. video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment in the section below so that we can make something you've always wanted to eat. Because I love it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Preferably anime or something TV related or something like that or something awesome game related.